Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a tutorial of how to make this Lego gun complete with a magazine. Like two magazines that can go into here. So let's do it. So I've split this tutorial into three different parts. The first part will be making the magazines. The second part will be making the body and the rest of the trigger. And the third part will make, be making the head of the gun and the wheel. So we're going to start with the um, magazine. So what I would recommend doing, so this is a must. You must have this piece. It's a 8 by 2 piece. You must have this. So I have two because I'm going to make two magazines. So what you're really going to need to do is you're going to need one of these pieces. So it doesn't really matter, but you need a piece that has a flat side so that you can make it flat. So I'm going to do that. And then I have another one. So that means this side is fully flat. And then this side is just that. And then same with this one. So I had to compromise with this one. So I just, I found two of these. But they don't fit. They do fit, but we need more. So I just found this one and this one. It really doesn't matter as long as the end shape is smooth. So that is the magazines. So I'm gonna put those here. Next, I think we should make the body. So this this one's gonna be a little trickier. First, you're gonna need a an eight by four, two of these actually, because you're gonna stack them on top of each other. Then you're gonna need a ten by one. So I know what you're thinking. If you attach this, there's two outside. So I didn't have any more 10 by ones. I couldn't find any. So same thing. There's a compromise. I found these five pieces and just made them into the same thing. So you just have to make the same shape as the other side. So then you're gonna need your other eight by four and you're gonna stack it on top. So I'm gonna put these in. So then this part is a little bit tricky. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get two by two. Just push it in here and it won't stay yet because you need a two by four. So first I'm gonna put one underneath. So what I'm gonna do is put this on and push this in. And then from the other side, it looks like this. And then just so that it's better, more stable, I'm gonna put the other two by four in here. And then this is the cool thing. It's one of these joints. You need a joint. It needs to, you need these two pieces so that they can connect and make a join so that you can do some stuff. So, remember this hole here hasn't been covered. So, what you're gonna do is I want you to bend it straight down so that you can measure. And then wherever it's perfectly good, like, so I can't go all the way here, so I'm gonna put it right here. So, now you have kind of a open and shut mechanism where you can put in your mask. And then it's shut. Oh, there you go. So that's the body. So now we're gonna make the third part, the head. So first we're gonna take this 10 by two. And then we're gonna take one, one of these curvy thing, which I haven't mentioned. It's cut, it's one of, we're gonna use this piece two more times after this. It kinda looks like this with a curve. And there's a little piece here. We're gonna put this on the edge. And that part is done. Now we're going to put our 8x4 on top of that. Then make sure both sides have one extra. Then we are going to use one of these. And then attach them. 
to here. Then we're gonna do the same thing. But with another one. See, all you have to do is just get 10 by one. Two thin things. It doesn't matter because look, there's three pieces on this one. Because I couldn't find anything else. Boom. And then we're going to put four of these four by twos just on them. So we're gonna put first we're gonna have to put the two top ones at the top where this grating is. And then before we put the two bottom ones, we're going to put one of the uh, two by two and also one of these joint. So this joint has two on one side, two on one side, and it kind of looks like this. This. So the front side is facing north, this side is facing sideways. So then we are going to put that at the back side, like this. And then we put our both of our two by fours at the back. And try to, they have to be touch, all the two by fours have to be touching each other. It's okay that they need some space, we need that. So then, what we are going to do, we're going to take two more of these ring ones that were here, that look like this, remember? So then we're going to attach, okay, this is additional, but if you want this to make it look cooler, you can. Put one right here. And one right here. This is additional. You don't really need this, but if you want to make it cool, then you should do it. Okay? The, we're going to need two 6 by 4s And then the first one, I'm going to put the black one on the edge. Like, literally on the edge. Like, on the back side. We need these to expand all the way outward. And the second one, it's going to go a little bit off. Like, two blocks off. It's fine. Which it's supposed to have over there. And uh, it should be all covered. And then we're gonna be a one by a twelve by one. And then attach it to the side all the way to here. And then the same. On this side, you just want to need one of these flat ones, and they need to equal up to 12. So a 6 plus 6 is 12. So it should fit like this. Then we're going to use 3 by 2 and put it what in the front. The front is this part, back is this part. We put it all the way in the front, like that. Then we're going to need 2. Two by fours. These are the flat ones. And we're just gonna put them right where the two by six is. So one right here, push it down, and then one right here. Remember, there needs to be a space here, so do not fit there. We're gonna need that. And then this it. So now we're going to attach the body to the head. So this is where the important thing comes out. We're gonna just find the right angle where you like it, and then when you like it, you can do that. Pretty cool. And then, kind of ready? Fully. Then we're gonna need one of those other joints. They look like this, remember? We're gonna put this in the uh, trigger. We're gonna take the bottom and put it a little. There needs to be a little space. Don't put it all the way back in. I need, we need a little space. And then there you go. Okay. And then make sure to tighten everything because it might come in. And finally, can do this. And put our mag in. Close this. Mm -hmm. And also, we pulled up this thing 
is that we can use this as a clip for our other magazine. So here's how we can just load it. Like this, let it drop, pick one up, and then boom. So I hope you like this video. It was pretty hard to make this gun. I made this by myself and I just found Lego from the land of Lego box. So I hope you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.